Hi, my name is Julia. Once again, I'm an occupational therapy student and welcome to the group today. I'm so excited to be here with all of you today and I'm very excited about our activity that we're doing here today. Um, we are going to be making tote bags out of t-shirts. As I did mention uh, last week at the end of our group, in case you wanted to bring a t-shirt with you that you wanted to make your, make your tote bag with, um, I also did some reminder, um, but if you didn't have a t-shirt or you forgot, no worries at all, because I did get plenty of t-shirts for everyone here um, from a local thrift store, store, and I was able to find so many different kinds of t-shirts that I really think there's going to be something that everybody connects with. Um, I have band t-shirts, I have different design t-shirts such as stripes and flowers, and there's different national park t-shirts, um, there's different sports teams t-shirts, there are college t-shirts, etc. There's so many different kinds. It was amazing what I could find. So I'm really excited for everyone to choose something that's personalized to them. And maybe it's something that sparks a memory or a happy time or something you just like looking at or you like the design of. Um, so I think that that'll be great because it's really individualized to each and every one of you. And then also, um, I think this is going to be a great group and activity because you know, maybe art isn't really your thing and that's okay. This isn't, you don't have to be very artsy for this. Um, it's a lot of just like cutting and tying. Um, and you know, if you have struggling with cutting or tying or it's too fatiguing, I can absolutely come around and help you and adjust the steps. Um, if you're having trouble cutting, for instance, I can cut it for you and then maybe you just have to tie, um, et cetera. So I can help you regardless of your skill level or your ability based on how you're feeling today. So don't worry about that. And then also if like art isn't really your thing, um, that's okay. You don't have to further decorate the shirt. I do have like paint and pom poms and ribbon and fabric markers. If you do want to further decorate or add embellishments to your shirt or your bag, once you're done making it a bag. Um, but also if you don't want to do that, you don't have to, it's okay. I personally chose not to actually add any embellishments because I really just like how it looked like this with just the Rowan. And I chose Rowan, uh, the Rowan t-shirt because Rowan is actually where I got my undergrad degree. And I don't know, Rowan's a very special place to me. I became who I was from going to Rowan, a lot of who I was. I grew a lot as a person. Um, so it's just a place that is very near and dear to my heart. And I don't know, whenever I see the word Rowan, it actually makes me like happy or brightens my day. Um, but I didn't really like this t-shirt anymore, like as a t-shirt wearing it. But, so I thought it'd be perfect to make it a bag. So that's a little bit about my own. And that leads me into kind of the next part of why I'm very excited for all of you to be here and for this activity um, is at the end when everyone makes their bags and we're done wrapping up, I'm going to offer the opportunity for everyone to share why they chose the bag that they did um, or the shirt that they did to make a bag. Um, and that way I figure it really offers a great opportunity for you guys to get to know each other better and maybe learn something about someone that you didn't know, but then maybe you find something you have in common because you learned that. So I think it'd be a great opportunity, kind of just allow us all to feel more comfortable together, um, talk about different memories that we have, times of happiness from this. So I think it's gonna be a great way to connect and generate that conversation and that social aspect as well. Um, and then while you're doing this activity too, I do really encourage you to, you know, talk to your, who you're sitting next to, talk to your peers, ask them what they're doing. Um, you can share what you're doing. You can ask, you know, how do you like how me, if I paint this, do you think this would be a good idea? What do you think about the placement of this? So definitely encourage um, you guys to facilitate conversation throughout this as well. And also you can also ask your neighbor or your peer for help too, if you're struggling with something. Um, and I'm helping someone too. I encourage you guys to lean each other that way. That's a great way to continue to build community as well. Um, so I think everyone's going to have a great time. I think this is a wonderfully meaningful activity for each and every one of you on some level or another. Um, so yeah, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see everyone's bags and what they turn out. Um, once again, this was what mine looked like. And it's pretty big, it's pretty roomy on the inside. So I think it'll be great. You can definitely hold different things in here. Um, it'd be great for like medications to keep in here or maybe your journal in here, if you're journaling, um, things like that. So there's so many options to put in here. Or for the grocery store, now that we can't, we don't have plastic bags. 
Um, so enjoy. If anyone has any questions, let me know. I am going to now go through the steps um, with all of you for step by step. Um, so we're going to break it down into chunks. Don't worry. We'll go slow for every level to be met, whatever your skill level is. Uh, enjoy. I can't wait to see what everyone's bags look like.